the Gas Connect Austria compressor station in Baumgarten. Before Russian natural gas reaches Austria, it travels a distance of more than 4000 kilometers over a period of about one week. Transport takes place at a depth of 1.5 meters in underground pipelines made of steel. This enables natural gas to be transported silently, invisibly and independent of weather conditions. Pipeline servicing. Natural gas pipelines are inspected, serviced and cleaned regularly. So-called pick traps are installed at the beginning and end of each pipeline section. These are used to insert cleaning and intelligent pigs into the pipeline, which are then sent along the pipeline with a flow of gas before being extracted again. They are carried along a 70 km long section of pipeline by the flow of gas at a speed of 3 meters per second. Cleaning. The incoming natural gas is first subjected to a purification process in a filter separator, where the gas is freed from any solid and fluid impurities. As the natural gas is directed through candle filters, particles remain behind on the cellulose coating of the cartridges. The natural gas is then routed over baffle plates. Any particles of fluid bounce off the baffle plates and then collect below in reservoirs, where they are automatically drained off. All particles larger than 15 micrometers are removed during the filter process. 15 micrometers is about the size of a dust particle. In comparison, a hair is many times larger. Quantity measuring. The exact quantity of natural gas is constantly and automatically determined in the metering station. The measurement data is recorded locally and transmitted to the dispatching center in Vienna where the gas flows are controlled. The flow rate in a pipeline is measured with the aid of an orifice plate and calculated according to the difference in pressure between each side of the plate. Compression. Natural gas needs to be compressed for transport. In other words, the pressure must be increased. In the compressor station, Modified aircraft turbines produce the energy necessary to drive the compressors, which compress the natural gas to 70 bar. As a comparison, the 70 bar of pressure produced here is equal to the pressure you would find at a water depth of 700 meters. Cooling the gas heats up while being compressed. Therefore, after compression, it must be cooled down in gas coolers before the forwarding stage. A ventilator blows cool air over the pipelines, which are covered with fins. Here the gas is cooled from temperatures of up to 55 degrees Celsius down to roughly 30 degrees Celsius. Drying. Water vapor is removed from the gas in drying columns. This is done using the glycol dehydration process. Glycol is a highly moisture absorbent liquid, which is colorless and smells sweet. Once returned to its initial state, the glycol can be reused for future drying processes. In the countercurrent, natural gas and glycol pass through a pressure container with several bubble cap trays. Here the glycol absorbs the water vapor in the natural gas. Distribution. The natural gas is now delivered via GasConnect Austria's 2000 km pipeline network to Austria's various states and its neighboring countries. This makes GasConnect Austria an important contributor to the European energy supply every day.